morning guys, we've come to a hotel with a swimming pool just to chill this morning before the guys catch their flight this afternoon. Um, they stayed out late, so we're all just going to take it easy. Soak in a bit of sun before they go back to rainy England. And then uh, me and Raya are trying to construct a plan for the next week before we head back. And uh, we've got some exciting ideas. Breakfast is served. Oh, are you boys headed off? Oh no. Are you heading to the airport? When's your, when's your flight? Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, group hug. Oh, oh yeah, and it's been an awesome trip. It's been an awesome trip, bro. Right, it's just down to me, Raya, and the one now. Just us three left. I think I'm gonna uh, go for a little swim. Finally had enough of swimming. We're gonna go and get some dinner. It's been a great day relaxing. Back to our favorite restaurant. Trattoria. So we've been advised to go for these three special dishes. One of them wasn't on the menu. And we are like sharing them between the three of us. So we split them up. This is like pumpkin pasta, Something else, mushroom. pasta, mushroom, stuffed pasta, ravioli, and fettuccine. Yeah. Guys, look how smiley my plate is. We've had another great evening. Just chilling. It's much more chilled vibes with the three of us. And now we're heading back for an early night in an Uber. Oh. Hey, man. Hey. Oh, thanks. Guys, Hi, breakfast at 6 a.m. is when it starts, so yeah. we can get some breakfast. Perfect. Let's go to 6 a.m. Night. I'm so tired. I think it's funny that on the way back from dinner, our taxi driver said he would never bring anyone here to this part of Nairobi. And I can see why. It's a Tuesday night, and they're still blaring music outside. It's like they have no laws about loud music at night. But um, I've got earplugs, so it's all right. And we're leaving here tomorrow, so it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, today's been an interesting one, guys. It's just been, you know, me swimming. Not the most interesting. Not me feeding drafts or riding about on a motorbike. But um, it's been needed. I've needed this time. And um, yeah, I've got. We've got another fun week of packed activities and things we're going into the uh, the Masai Mara which is a massive like national park there'll be incredible animals and we're going to some incredible lodges uh, it's going to be similar I guess to the South Africa trip but I'm again interested to see the differences one of the differences we're going to get to meet some of the Masai tribe and learn some things about the culture and uh, yeah, that's gonna be good. I, I did come, I think it must have been like 2010 and to the Maasai, but that was before I was vlogging, so you wouldn't have seen that. Before I go, um, I asked a question last week, which was what are your biggest fears and how are you gonna overcome them? So I'm gonna cut to some of your answers. My biggest fear is getting stuck in one place because of a job. Um, and so to overcome that, I'm going to hopefully save up money while I'm in college and then be able to move myself to hopefully New York or Los Angeles, Seattle, something like that. My biggest fear is failure. 
and the way that I've overcome that is be the best person and better than the person that I was yesterday. My biggest fear is of death and dying, but really it's of not existing anymore and being forgotten. I think instead of being terrified and trying to overcome this fear that's just impossible, I think the best thing to do is to accept it and use it to better yourself. My biggest fear is uh, realizing 20 years down the line that I'm not happy with what I've chosen as a career. My plan for that not to happen is um, by doing two things at once. So right now I'm handling my family business and at the same time I'm pursuing photography, which is my passion. I guess my only big fear is to be stuck in a sinking ship in a storm at sea if that makes any sense. But honestly, I have no idea how to conquer that fear. And my biggest fear is um, leaving my house. I have panic disorder and mild agoraphobia. And my plans to change that this year is to accept more invitations to do more things outside of the home and to say yes more to new adventures. I think my biggest fear has to be the fear of the unknown. And unfortunately, the older I get, the more I realise that life is one big unknown that you just have to step into and hope for the best. My biggest fear in life is wasting my time doing something I'm not meant to do or becoming something I'm not meant to be. And I overcome this not necessarily because I practice any sort of religion, but I do believe that everything happens for a reason and whatever the universe wants me to do, will happen. So thanks guys for sending in those answers. I always enjoy learning a little bit more about who you guys are. And I've realized I don't answer those questions myself, so I'm gonna try and answer it. I can half answer it. I think my biggest fear is that I'm gonna lose this amazing part of my life at some point, this ability to be able to share my life with you guys and have a relatively successful YouTube channel. I think my fear is that somehow in this ever competing YouTube land uh, where I'm competing with other YouTubers for your attention, that somehow I'm just gonna, you know, fizzle out or um, not have people watch my videos anymore. So I don't really know how I'm gonna overcome that fear. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know. Um, but yeah, I guess that is one of, one of my fears. Uh, and a, a question I've got for you guys um, for next week, I've been thinking about this, is I'd love to know what you see as your biggest strength and your biggest weakness. Sometimes those can be the same thing. Um, but yeah, let me know. Send those videos in, all the details below, as usual. And uh, oh, one last thing as well before we go to bed is Raya's working hard on her video from all her trips the last couple of weeks and this is going to be live by the time um, I upload this video so go and check it out look she's like she's like stroking an elephant yeah which hopefully we'll get to do tomorrow yeah but, um, <laughs> yeah go and check it out she's been working hard and uh, yeah I think she's getting mad skills on the editing <laughs> serious right we'll see you in the morning peace out Enjoy life and live the adventure. Boom.